Hey everyone, so today we're going to be patching this hole and I uh, just thought that would be a good easy quick video to show you guys um, in case you ever uh, find a hole that you can't just put some putty over it and so what we're going to do is you need a couple things um, like I cut this hole out because I wanted to look behind here but in a normal scenario let's say you've got this broken and um, like there's a hole you'd want to find another piece of sheetrock and cut it to virtually the same size. So let's say your hole was like that. Well, what you'd want to do is make sure that you have a piece of sheetrock that generally fills that shape. And so here's the real trick. What you do is you find a piece of wood that will fit and it will span the hole. And so what first thing you're wanting to do is put that piece of wood in in the hole and then screw into that piece of wood through a good part of the sheetrock and you should know when that catches because you'll feel it okay so now you got that in and you want to put a screw in the other side all right now, put your patch on, and this one has a hole in the middle, so we'll just, we'll use it. But if it was a square, if you have a square or something, you might want to put, you know, a, like a, a screw in all four corners or, you know, something like that, so it'll be a little bit more secure. But in this case, uh, we're just going to put this one here in the middle, okay? And so now that's in there. So now once you have that, you want to smooth all that up, move into that, you want to get your joint compound, or I just got some of this spackling compound here, and I'm just going to fill this, fill these gaps, and you can see I'm putting more on than I need is what I'm going to do after. Right before this dries is I'm going to hit, get a damp sponge and kind of wipe it down to make it flow with the rest of the finish that's on these walls already to, to blend it in. And then that once that dries a little bit and you'll take that sponge and wipe it through, you won't see that circle right there. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Then once that dries and you, like I said, put a damp sponge on it and paint it, match the color. You'll never know it existed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.